And literally, all I care about at this point is being able to take care of my family and then take the science and see how far uh, we can spread it. That combination of behavior, results, and social validity, that is how you get experimental causality. If you're starting a business, you got to get your hands dirty. You got to do all the heavy lifting. Uh, you're not going to be able to say like, all right, I'm just going to hire a bunch of people and then you guys go and I'll be over here. It doesn't work that way. You have to get things in there. You have to set up your systems. You have to do everything. Uh, once you are starting growth though, you cannot be doing everything. You need to take a step back and have leaders within your agency or organization that are going to take over those day-to-day -day operations. other professionals, professionals that you may not have as much time to connect with in person because of travel, people that are over long distances, a really amazing way to leverage our leadership over, over a broader scale. My oxygen is figuring out ways to, to make the smallest little tweak in an independent variable like a, a goal setting or self-monitoring and see with that small change how much of an impact can we make. In a neurobehavioral setting where, as I was saying before, it's a dangerous setting, you want to have well-trained staff, you want to have systems in place to make staff accountable, and you have to have a good staff development program.